In the City of Commerce, we do not merely exchange money or goods. We also exchange knowledge, memories, and foresight. The Archon Morax could never experience life as the true mortal Zhongli could, no matter how many times he descended to be with his people. <laughs> I must thank I will treasure the memories that I made as Zhongli, traveling the streets of Liyue with you. That is true. But there is no journey that does not end. Hmm. Paimon thinks that we should make a move and I fear that continuing your journey may be difficult. The nation that neighbors Liyue by sea, in Azuma, is presently... Yes. The nation has been... The Electro Archon Ball. And just as the people of Liyue preferred to call me Rex Lapis, she too goes by another name among locals in Inaz... Um... Paimon thinks we've heard that one before. Uh that is the case. And since Raiden is also the Shogun of Inazuma, people call her the Raiden Shogun. That said, though people at the wharf were saying that the situation in Inazuma is very tense, Paimon doesn't remember that always being the case. It wasn't that bad last year. Zhongli, since you're Rex Lapis, shouldn't you know something about- It's because of visions. Visions? When faced with circumstances beyond their control, humans often be- But if a person shows true strength of will at a desperate and fateful moment in their life, the gods will look upon them with- This is what visions are. Magical foci. Uh-huh. That's how people in Tibet see it. But starting from last year, the Raiden Shogun began... Vision Hunt Decree? Yes. It was an order to seize all visions within Inazuma's borders, and to inlay them upon the hands of the statue... They want to seize visions? But why? I should think that in the Raiden Shogun's eyes, it is precisely because they are divine blessings. The Animo Archon is the god of freedom, and the Geo Archon is the god of contracts. For her part, the Raiden Shogun is the god of eternity. It seems as though she has finally decided to eliminate any unstable elements that could pose a threat to her eternal realm. The fact that even I, the oldest of the seven, have now passed away, will only strengthen knowing her. She must have again quoted that adage she is most fond of, when proclaiming that seven ideals for seven gods. And of these... All right then. Was there anything else you wished to know? Well then. I suppose you'll have to find a way to get inside this closed nation. Have patience. I suspect that some serendipity must first come into play.
I have gathered everyone here today to make an important announcement. Perhaps some of you will have heard the news already. I am, in fact- We build the Jade Chamber? So the rumors are true. No wonder the price of building material- <sighs> The Jade Chamber means a lot to Lady Ningguang. Lady Ningguang! Is there any way we can be- Patience. Since the news made it out a few days ago, I have already had many people contacting me to declare an interest in joining the project. Nevertheless, I do have a few matters I should like to entrust to you here t The building site has been chosen, and most of the materials have been assembled. They are as follows. Sunset Vermilionite, Wonder Cores, and Adepti Sigils. Uh, excuse my ignorance, Lady Ningguang. Only sufficiently large pieces of plostrite, or specifically, vermilionite, may earn themselves the sunset moniker. This stone is what allows the jade chamber to float. Adepti sigils serve as a means of integrating the mechanical devices with adepti art. They are as indispensable as the mechanical core itself. Although these three items are rare, I trust that with your connections and capability, I take the saying, time is money, more seriously than most. Efficiency is everything. I will pay a generous price for the materials that you find, and you may ask me anything. And I will give you an honest answer. These things won't be easy to get hold of. But if it means a chance to get some inside information on Liyue Harbor's development, then it's the deal of a lifetime. Information from Lady- Haha, <laughs> what a coincidence! I won't divulge too much, but I heard some murmurings about some plostrite just the other day. So excuse me all, but, um... <sighs> oh, no. We'd better move quickly, or this opportunity will be snatched away from us. Rebuilding the Jade Chamber? This is a huge de- So you heard my announcement, did you? What do you think? Interested? Yes. Providing the question pertains to something I am knowledgeable about. Really? Ooh, the Paima will ask you- Then we'll never be short of Mora ever again. <laughs> of course. But how much inf- The construction of the Jade Chamber requires a great deal of space. 
The abandoned mine outside the Golden House has been selected as- I have other business to attend to now. Otherwise, I would gladly escort you to the site in person. When you do arrive, please, seek out my set. Remember, this is a race against the clock. A rare opportunity presents itself to- Ningguang seems super busy. Come on, we'd better get going! First, we gotta get out of Eugene Terrace. Uh, huh? Look! It seems like there's something kind of fishy going on over there. Ma'am, you seem like an eminent and distinguished young lady to me. I can see that you're easily gonna win this procurement contest Lady Dingwang has set up. As it happens, we have some information about the materials that I really think might in- No. I don't need- Ah, uh, don't be like that. Hey, why don't you stand there? Oh, right, yeah. Children, come, come. <laughs> oh, what is it, Granny? Need a oh, no, no. You've done so much. In fact, my old friends and I have been putting our heads together to think of what sort of gift we might give you in return. A gift? For Paimon? Oh, child, you are so very modest. Uncommonly so, even. When you traversed my old teapot in search of the cleansing bell, I heard your li That simply won't do. Fortunately, I have not yet grown so old as to see my subspace creation abilities atrophy. Oh, did my friends never mention that to you? Well, then... It, it, I will not go into too much detail, but subspace creation. The teapot that you entered previously was a little trinket created. So, in the eyes of an adeptus, creating a magic teapot world is just child's play, huh? Oh, indeed, the teapot is nothing to boast of. One such as myself must depart from this realm to create a world of one's own. Rex Lapis, on the other hand, moved mountains and seas. <sighs> that is... Uh, but that's enough nostalgia for now. The gift that I have prepared for you... That's right! Finding stuff's what... Oh, settle down now, children. There's no need for you to go running hither and thither. <laughs> What's more, I... I doubt that you would know how to find the materials I am s Well, for starters, I require some shimmer soil from the bank. You would have to dig downward, following the roots of the glazed lilies. And if you- But almost no one has been able to find shimmer soil in this manner since Dihua Marsh came to be the- Even more difficult to find is Smaragdus Jadeite, which must be chiseled from the rock of the chasm. Or- so it used to be. Ever since the Blackcliff Forge opened for business, they've slowly but surely stripped the mines. In any case, Smaragdus Jadeite is an adept eye treasure, and the adeptal power within is not something that most humans can withstand. It ah, goodness knows if that child will succeed. Well, since you're an adeptus, Granny, 
The person you asked for help... Hmm, yes. I... She counts? How come there are so many Adepti in Leela Harbor? We seem to bump into them all the time. It feels like even... Oh, maybe so. Who can say? A fair few of my old friends are up... I'm back, Granny. Oh, I don't believe we've met. Ah, allow me to do the honors. This child here is Yen Fei. Yen Fei, I believe you already heard of the Traveler and his traveling comp- Of course, who hasn't? Much has been written about you in the Melilith's records. You became one of Liyue's most wanted after the Millilith marked you as a suspect following the incident at the Rite of Dissension. After which, you fought off the Millilith at Julian before finally defeating an ancient god together with Granny and her associates, and subsequently being cleared of any- A shame that we didn't meet sooner. If we had, well, I can't say that I would have been able to clear you of suspicion immediately. Allow me to introduce myself once more. I'm Yenfei, a legal advisor. Got a legal problem? You can come right to me. Oh, yes, here's my business card. You'll find it has my contact details, and if you have an urgent issue, just leave me a note at this address. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, I offer a vi- All right, Yenfei, all right. Let's get to the business at hand. I do not think these two are in any dire need of legal assistance at the moment. You'll have to excuse Yanfei. She's always been like this. Ever. Paimo was gonna ask the same question. An adeptus? Uh, I guess. Kinda. My old man said he mentioned that he once campaigned with Rex Lapis for a long old time. And then after that was all over, he went back and married my- They had me, and once I was all grown up, the two of them upped and left on a journey, leaving me with Granny here. Well, that's a bit casual for an adeptus. Aren't you guys supposed to sign solemn contracts to protect Leo at Harbor and all that stuff? Well, my dad did say that he'd talked it through with Rex Lapis and that he was fine with it. Even contributed towards the wedding gift, apparently. Anyway, let's not dwell on that too much. So, Granny... I've gotten a hold of most of the stuff you- Is that so? Hmm. But Smaragdus Jadeite is really rather essential. Yenfei, are you sure you can't find some other way? They have helped Liyue greatly, after all. I know, Granny, you've told me a thousand times already. Well, the chasm's definitely a no-go, but there's still a chance we can... Hmm. Hold on a m- Whoa! That's a really thick book! Commercial Consultancy. Or... Or... Krussel! A Snezhnayan merchant who once came to me with some legal queries on certain articles in the legal codices. If my memory serves, all of them. He mentioned that he was considering acquiring some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins, and wanted to know if there were any legal ramifications that he should be aware of. Said he was planning to sell them in Snezhna. So, I guess I'll go look for him. With any luck, he'll have gotten his hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite, or might have an idea of where we can- Oh, you want to join me? I suppose that's no problem, but it's best if you just stand by and watch. If you try to get involved, you'll only risk placing yourself in legal jeopardy. Wow! An adept is imploring us to avoid incurring... Best we be a little more careful than usual while we're... Huh. They're not here! Hmm. Let's keep looking! <laughs> well, will you? Don't worry, we're not bad guys. You give us some Mora, we give you. Boss, I got a bad feeling about this. Look at her, the, the white hair, the the energy she gives off. I, I'm telling you, there there's something different about her. So what? She's loaded. 
How are we ever going to repay those gambling debts if we- I've already told you. I don't need- If you still can't grasp that, I'm happy to repeat it in a- Ah, <sighs> come on, ma'am. You seem like- It's not about whether you need the info or not, okay? It's about you taking out your money and handing it over and nobody getting hurt. I won't- No more excuses! <sighs> I know you have money. I saw you. Yeah, I saw you. Strolling into Leo Lee Pavilion, ordering a table full of food, then Shinyue Kiosk, then Wanmin Restaurant. Same story each time. How could you afford to be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich family? And since you're so rich... <sighs> Master warned me not to lay a hand on anyone in Leo A Harbor. <sighs> but here we are. Hmm. Perhaps... Uh, yes. Let's call it fate. Boss, I'm telling you some- What are you afraid of? We're just selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. We'll sue her for everything she's worth. Oh, you again. The Millilith? W w what are the Millilith doing here? Did you do this? Hmm? Silence! How dare you threaten innocent civilians? <laughs> no, no, don't, 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 don't. Shen He. Shen He? My name. Oh, so your name's Shen He. Paimon's name is... Oh, I've heard about you two before. Uh, I could have dealt with it myself, though. I suspect smashing his head against the ground a handful of times is all it would have taken to get him to surrender. Laws. <sighs> no. Really? So... <sighs> that would be my stomach growling. She's so on it. Wait! That's right! They said you went around all the restaurants ordering... Th then of course you're still hungry! So, any... Hmm. Chingson, Glaze Lily, Violet Grass. These are my usuals. Hmm, Medi Kinda hard to explain. Mm. Anyway, Boo Boo Pharmacy's not far away. Let's take- After all, you can't work- Psst. Do you think Shenha might be an adeptus? It seems like it's her first time in Liyue Harbor, and she doesn't seem to get how things work here. If she is an adeptus, that would explain everything. Where does she fit in with the other Adepti, though? Hmm... I'm super curious. Are you here to buy some herbs? I do hope you brought your prescription. Chingsing, Glaze Lily, and Violet Grass, please. Ha what kind of prescription is this? Sounds more like a lunch order. <laughs> oh, here you go. That's everything we have in... Thank you. My hunger has now abated. Thank you. Though they were not completely devoid of sweet fragrance, after consuming a large quantity of them, bitterness is all that remains. So, how come you chow down on these and barely touch the rest? If Paimon had enough, Mora, Paimon would go to the fanciest restaurant because I'm not sure whether I will remain here in the future. The food of the mortal realm is most delicious. But should I return to the mountains, yearning for the food here shall only pose an obstacle to my continued spiritual development. Sampling each dish in order to appreciate its taste is enough. Return to the mountains? 
curtains. The pro- mm, Enough about me. What are your plans? Oh, right! Paimon almost forgot! We came out to take part in the rebuild, the change, and... And now we're probably super behind because we've been held up for so long. Hmm, I see. I heard something about the contest when I was- <laughs> Yep! You get to ask Ningguang any question you want if you win! Were you interested in the con- hmm. I came for the rebuilding of the Jade Chamber, but until this point I had no intention of joining a contest. However, you have shown me your kindness, and I would now like to lend you my- Wow! Yeah, but having an Adeptus help out will make things a whole lot easier, so... Then let's not delay. I Great! Paimon bets this is gonna be the awesomest plan ever! Mm. I am not sure whether, or to what extent, this plan can be classified as awesome. We simply need to dispose of everyone who is currently ahead of us. Then... Vito! That is not acceptable! Really? But I hear that competition isn't at... Look, we want to win this competition. Sunset Vermilion Night, Wonder Course, and Adepti Sigils. Let's start at the top of the list and work down. So, for plus right... I was wondering who I could hear arguing over there. So, it's you. Baishu? What are you doing out here? Lady Ningguang wishes to purchase a large batch of wound dressing. We're running low at the store, so... I huh? How can Lady Ningguang need... I'm not too sure. I did hear she's looking to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Maybe for its first aid on site? I didn't ask, though. Far be it from me to pry... Oh. And she also borrowed Chi-Chi. -chi. Meaning Boo Boo Pharmacy is very short-handed right now. No, no. We've got other stuff to do. Um, while you're here, though, you seem to know a lot. Have you ever heard of something called Sunset? Ah, the variety of Plostrite used in the Jade Chamber, yes? There is some mention of it in the Seven Mountain Treatises. When activated, Sunset Vermilionite rises up all the way into the clouds. It's very rare indeed. As far as the records show, virtually all Sunset Vermilionite in existence has been mined and taken possession of. Okay then, let's go out. Thanks, Baish. You're quite welcome. Good luck to you all. And <laughs>
Master Singcho, thank goodness you're finally back. Oh? Why do I detect an urgency in your voice? The Guild has had a whole string of strange orders in recently. Everyone's been completely caught off guard. Your father gave me specific instructions to ask you to stay and help out if I happen to see you. I see. Have someone sort the orders by type for now. I'll deal with them myself shortly. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you, Master. With you on the job, I can breathe a sigh of relief. Hey, Xingqiu! Glad you're here! some information. Traveler, Paimon, please wait a Shu, I need to entertain some guests. Please continue with your work for the time being, and we'll- Understood, Master Singchio. The I wasn't counting on finding you here today. What's going on? And how, pray tell, may I be of service? Xingqiu, have you ever heard of- Oh, I see. So you've entered Lady Ningguang's- As well? The truth is, the Feiyun Commerce Guild is in possession of some Sunset Vermilionite, but we are holding it on behalf of someone who has asked us to put it up for auction, and a lot of interested parties. At the end of the day, it all comes down to supply and demand. In this case... 500 million! Honestly, I would recommend that you don't bother bidding on this one. The price is greatly inflated, and... But... without any sun... Don't panic. I don't suppose you- Who? Hmm. Seagazer was once very close to Mountain Shaper, but if I am not mistaken, he has already pa Yes, precisely. I didn't- According to records of drifting clouds, Seagazer once built an abode to store his rarest and most exquisite treasures, among which was some sunset vermilion. After Seagazer passed, the abode was abandoned, and its location was lost to time. Luckily, I came into possession of a stack of folk history books just recently. They make some oblique references to this lost abode, and after cross ref That's great! Um, but wouldn't it be a little, you know, disrespectful with him being an adeptus? <laughs> You needn't worry. As far as I understand, Seagazer was very open-minded. Open-minded? I have not heard of Seagazer being described in this way before. May I- Just a rumor I heard out in the mountains. <sighs> All right then, let's go. Hmm. There's something about this young lady that reminds me of a good friend of mine. Oh, I almost forgot. Adepti abodes tend to have very ingenious designs, especially when it comes to their defense mechanisms. Okay, we will be. Thanks, Xingqiu.
This place was hidden using a special Adepti art. But now that I have removed it, we can inspect the area more closely. Wow, that's amazing! Yep, let's take another look around! Hey, look! Is that a new Celia over there? Waterfall just now? How did we suddenly end up here? Oh, so many. Hmm. I believe this is the. With any luck, the sunset for Millionite. Really? Let Paimon see! Look, it's gone and snuck beneath. And now that Paimon takes a closer look, the rocks and trees here don't. See These are not real clouds. They are the product of an Adepti art used for spatial partitioning. If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that is maintained. All right, then let's do- I sense the presence of monsters in this place.
Sheesh! It appears that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? Transfiguration! By ordinance divine! The mechanism is exposed. Now's our chance. Like we need to go further down. But before that, let's destroy the guard mechanisms on this level first. Transfiguration! 
Configuration. You will regret this. Leave it all to me. Time to clean up. Take your true form.
Transfiguration! I must leave no... Submit for judgment! One with my blade! Swift and merciful! Do your master's bidding! One with my blade, from whence you came! Cryo incarnate! Steady as stone, as a good knight should. My will embodied. In your dreams. My curse to bear. Get him. I'll race you. Let it rain. Yeah! 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 